Hi everyone, I'm Miss Amy with the Norcross Library and this is Junior Scientists. We will be conducting STEAM experiments every second and fourth Tuesday of each month. This will be a great way to learn STEAM related facts while having fun learning how to conduct experiments at home. But remember to always ask your parents permission before you do any of the experiments or projects. Now, let's get started. This week, we will be making a homemade thermometer. First of all, what is a thermometer? A thermometer is the instrument used to tell the air temperature. And a thermometer is usually made up of a small hollow glass tube. And at the bottom of the tube, there's a bulb that holds a liquid such as alcohol or mercury. When there's an increase in the heat, the liquid inside the bulb expands and it pushes up into the tube. A decrease in heat lets the liquid contract and it moves down the tube. A measuring scale is attached to the tube to give an accurate measurement of heat energy. And we normally use the Fahrenheit scale. Now, do you know what the temperature is for water to freeze using the Fahrenheit scale? If you said 32 degrees Fahrenheit, you are correct. How about the temperature for water to boil using the Fahrenheit scale? If you said 212 degrees Fahrenheit, you are right. Now here's another question for you. Did you know that there is another scale for measuring temperature? It's called the Celsius scale. Now, do you know what the temperature for the freezing point of water is using the Celsius scale? If you said zero degrees Celsius, I'm impressed. Now, what about the boiling point of water using the Celsius scale? If you said 100 degrees Celsius, I'm super impressed. Now, let's get ready our own thermometer. To make our own thermometer, you will need an empty water bottle, a clear or light colored drinking straw, some rubbing alcohol, some room temperature water, food coloring, some clay or Play-Doh, a marker, hot water, and ice cold water. To make our own thermometer, we have a third cup of room temperature water, and we have a third cup of rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna pour my rubbing alcohol right into my water cup, and we're gonna have some red food coloring, which we're gonna add actually after we pour it into our empty clear water bottle. So I'm just gonna pour the mix right directly into my water bottle. It's always a good idea to work over a pan or something in case you spill. Okay, now that I have added my mix of a third cup of room temperature water and a third cup of rubbing alcohol, I'm going to take some food coloring and I'm going to add about three drops. And I'm going to seal my bottle. I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around, make sure I get all the food coloring. Okay, now we have our mixture is colored red. So we're gonna take our drinking straw. I ended up using um, a light colored yellow one that I had. And when we put our straw inside, make sure that it's not touching the bottom of your bottle because then the water will not be able to travel through it. So kind of lift it off the bottom of the bottle. And then you're gonna take your clay or your Play-Doh and you are going to create a seal 
around the straw and the opening of the bottle. This is just so that no air is coming in or going out from that opening. Okay? So what you could do if you wanted is with your marker, you can mark where your room temperature is. That way you could see where it is. So ideally you would let it sit for a few minutes to let the water kind of acclimate through the straw. So I wanted to show you what's gonna happen. I have a bowl of very hot water. Again, please be careful. Have an adult help you get hot water. It is not boiling, but it is very hot. So we're gonna put our thermometer into the hot water and we're gonna see if the liquid that's inside of our straw goes up. Because remember, if it gets hot, the liquid is gonna travel up. So let's see what happens. Let's put it right in to our hot water. And can you see that it is beginning to travel up our straw? It's kind of hard to tell on the video, but it is. See how, how it's traveling? So we're gonna let it continue. Let's see how high it's gonna go. And then when it goes to that height, you can always mark it. But it's also good that we have it in something because sometimes it may just come right out the top of the bottle. There it, is. There it goes. <laughs> it's going up and up. So that water is warm. Now, I have my bowl of ice water. So let's see what'll happen. Let's see. Watch. See how our liquid, it's going back down because the temperature is much colder. So now our liquid is slowly going down. You see, it's coming down. And it will continue to fall as it cools. You can see it going slowly but surely. I hope you enjoyed our experiment this week and you had fun making your own thermometer. Now you can try using it outside on hot days and see how high your liquid goes. You can also try it when it's cold and see how cold it gets. Have fun with it. See you next time. <laughs>